word of an arrest in one of the attacks, a stabbing. But the man who slashed three women, he's still out there. I would assume reporter Sonia Rincon live in Gramercy with the very latest. Sonia. Bill, I'm outside the 13th Precinct Station House where tonight a man was charged in the death of a man found stabbed in the Union Square Station over the weekend. Now, the NYPD is still looking for answers in that case and still looking for the suspect in those slashings targeting three women. Different suspect, but all the attacks had the four train in common. Claude White is 33 and homeless and was picked up after allegedly jumping a turnstile. He's charged with murder and criminal possession of a weapon saying nothing as he was escorted out of the 13th Precinct Station House tonight. Police believe he's responsible for the stab wounds that claimed the life of 32-year-old Tavon Silver early Saturday morning. A fellow subway rider found Silver wounded on a four train at Union Square but didn't see what happened to him. Now police believe while the two men did not know each other, they did have some sort of dispute that led to the deadly violence. The four train was also at the center of violent attacks on three women this past weekend, all surviving slash wounds to their legs after police say this man with a white T-shirt and a blank stare attacked them from behind unprovoked. Biancelli Diplon was leaving the train at 86th Street. I started going up the steps and then I felt something in the back of my leg. So like I, I like hold on to it and then I saw there was blood. So I turned around and I saw him and like he just stared at me. And I was crying, I started crying, and he just walked away. Detectives believe the same man also slashed a 48-year-old woman at that station and rode the train down to the Brooklyn Bridge station where he slashed a 26-year-old woman about 17 minutes later. None of the women knew each other, and the attacker said nothing. Biancelli Diplan, who is 19 and asked that we not show her face, says she would like to see even more police officers like there were at 86th Street today. And she's urging fellow riders to be on the lookout on the subway. This man is still out there. Be safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Because this could happen to anybody. A subway crime was down 13% last month, but that may be of little consolation to riders after the violent weekend. Yes, the odds of being attacked on a subway are very slim, but apparently it happened to the Union Square victim twice. Several published reports say the same Tavon Silver survived being stabbed on a two train a year ago last June. We are told that the person arrested in that case is behind bars. So right now, police have no reason to believe believe that what happened to this man being attacked twice was anything other than a terrible coincidence. Live in Gramercy, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Wow.